Each spring, some of the first seedlings to be transplanted from their pots in the natural heat mat out into the garden are kale. With all due respect to Jim Gaffigan, one of the funniest famous people living, kale is amazing, and I grow a lot of it. I plant kale, and pretty much everything that's coming from a 3 inch pot, the same way I plant grafted trees. I don't dig a plant sized hole like I would with an established tree. Rather, I slice an opening into the soil, push the spade forward and slide the plant into the opening, then remove the shovel and help the soil fill in around the plant's root mass. This is much quicker, more efficient, and seems to be all that's necessary for healthy plants to get established quickly. One thing that's different about kale is where I plant it within each bed. Unlike many other varieties, I don't plant down the center of the row. The reason for this is that I'm planning ahead to season extension opportunities this fall. Kale will grow to be three and a half feet high in a couple months here in central Maine. And if I let it, each plant will grow to a bush habit, perhaps two feet in diameter. It's possible to harvest kale nearly year round if you keep the snow and wind off of it. That means covering it. I'll plant some fresher seedlings in the hoop houses a bit later in the summer, but this kale will be big and perfect come fall. Each of my beds is 30 inches wide. I generally plant two rows of kale, each in adjacent rows, and I plant them as close to the walking path as possible. This will allow me to build a low tunnel over both rows come fall. If they were in the center of each row, they would stick up past the downward slope of the hoops. I could still cover them, but then the kale would have to support the weight of the snow instead of the metal hoops. That will break the kale and ruin the leaves that touch the plastic, particularly if there's a week or two I don't get out to harvest it. Putting the kale down the insides of the beds means it's actually down the center of the low tunnel. That means I can harvest kale longer into the winter season. Of course, all of this is predicated upon the premise that the kale will actually grow. One way I can help ensure that possibility is protecting the young seedlings from the dreaded flea beetle and cabbage moths, both of which I seem to have in abundance around here. My pest control method of choice is floating row cover. Since I don't bury the edges and reuse it longer than you're supposed to, meaning mine has holes in it here and there, it doesn't keep all of the pests away, but it does enough of a job that the plants can get established enough to grow through the pressure. A few holes in a leaf I can stand. Not having any leaves, I can't. <laughs> 